Like many living with Parkinson's, Lauren felt overwhelmed and caught in a cycle of anxiety, tremors, and mental fog. She wasn't sure what to expect from neurofeedback. But over time, something shifted, and she started to feel more like herself again. This is Lauren's story, shared in her own words, read aloud, so you can hear what changed for her after 13 sessions of neurofeedback. Here's what she had to say. I first became interested in neurofeedback when my meds really weren't controlling my symptoms well, and it was ramping up my anxiety. I kept getting caught in a cycle of bad tremors, which made me anxious, which made my tremors worse, which worsened my anxiety, and on it went. I felt like my whole nervous system was on high alert at all times. I couldn't even be a passenger in a car without tensing head to toe every time we passed a truck. I also spent way too many hours at night worrying about, well, just about everything. It was exhausting. I was already taking lots of pills for my Parkinson's symptoms and didn't want to add on more for anxiety unless I had no other choice. I tend to explore alternative treatments, which led me to Lisa Tataran and the Smart PD program. I started with a brain map that helped identify specific markers in my brain for symptoms I wanted to target. Anxiety was my biggest issue, so that was the one that we worked on first. I think when the changes started to happen, it was subtle and I didn't even realize it at first. After about four sessions, I was definitely not as jumpy and noticed I was much more relaxed in the car. That has continued to improve. I have completed 13 sessions now, and although my anxiety pops up here and there, it is now something I can breathe through. My anxiety sits around a two instead of a 10 plus. I have also learned how to control my random worries cycling through my head at night, and I am feeling more motivated to complete projects. It feels like a windshield wiper has passed across my brain and removed a layer of fog. I would tell someone considering neurofeedback to be patient and keep at it. At first, you may not feel like anything is happening, one of the best pieces of advice Lisa gave me was to let go, and that was difficult for the control freak in me. I remember telling my friend, I never knew it would be so hard to not think about anything. When you have a condition like Parkinson's, you realize that time is a precious commodity and you don't want to waste it. Neurofeedback takes time, but I see it as a non-invasive way to exercise my brain that will benefit me in the years to come. The time invested has definitely been worth it. If you've been feeling stuck in a cycle of anxiety and brain fog, you don't have to stay there. Neurofeedback helped Lauren feel clearer, calmer, and more in control, and it could help you too. Book a free call today at smartpdprogram.com and take the first step toward feeling better.